Hello everyone and welcome back. In this new lesson we're going to start the implementation of the search all lessons screen. So the screen will follow the master detail user interface pattern and in this first lesson we're going to start with the master part. So we want to type here a search in our search box, we want to click on the search button and we want to trigger a request to the backend and display here a list of search results. The master table is going to be displayed here directly in our search lessons component, but the detail of each of the search results is going to be displayed by using the lesson component that we will be implementing later on in the course. So we will be storing the search results while we navigate through the multiple details. So the question is now, where are we going to store these results? In the particular case of this master detail scenario, we're going to choose to store our data directly here in a member variable at the level of the search lessons component. Let's then create here a new member variable that we're going to call search results. This is going to be an observable of lesson array, meaning that the values emitted by this observable are going to be lists of lessons that correspond to the result of one particular search. So as we can see, doing state management in an Angular application is not about using shared services, it's not about using behavior subject or even a third party library to manage our state. We can also do state management simply by using member variables at the level of top level container like components such as the search lessons component that corresponds to the page that we see here on the screen. Let's then populate search results with some data. If we go here to our search lessons component, we are going to find here an input that corresponds to this search input. We can see that it has the template name search input. So we are going to be using this name in order to pass the search that we want to do to our component. For that, let's start by detecting here the click event on the search button. When the search button gets clicked, we are going to be calling a component method called on search and we're going to pass it the value that the user has typed here. Let's access here the search input and let's pass the search value to our search lessons component. Let's now implement the on search method. On search is going to receive here a single input parameter, which is going to be the search string. And from here, we need to call our backend and populate here the search results member variable. In order to call our backend, we're going to be using just like before the courses service. Let's then inject the courses service here in our constructor as usual. And from here, we're going to be calling a new method not implemented yet on courses service, which is going to be called search lessons. This method is going to take as input only one argument, which is going to be a search string. We are going to be returning here as the output of this method an observable that emits arrays of lessons. So these will be the lessons that match the search criteria. Our backend already has available an endpoint for searching for lessons. We can access that endpoint using the Angular HTTP client by doing an HTTP get method to the endpoint slash API slash lessons. To this HTTP get parameter, we're going to be passing in a couple of parameters. Let's pass in here a configuration object. Let's specify here a map parameters. And here we're going to specify our first parameter, which is going to be the filter property. So here we are going to be passing our search string. And before adding here the rest of the parameters, let's fix here this compilation error. We're going to pass in here a parametric type that specifies the output of this call to http.get. So we are going to get back from the backend an array of lessons. So now we have here our first parameter. The second parameter that we need to pass to our backend endpoint is going to be the page size that we are going to set to 100. You will notice here a compilation error and this is because all our parameters for an HTTP request need to be strings. Now let's complete the implementation of our search lessons method. So the result that we are getting back here from the backend does not actually contain an array of lessons. So we are getting back an object from the backend. So we are going to map this object, which is going to be our HTTP response. And from it, we are going to extract one property, which will be the 
payload property. We are also going to be applying here as usual the share replay operator in order to avoid that multiple subscriptions of our output observable accidentally trigger multiple repeated HTTP requests. Now that we have finished the implementation of search lessons, let's go ahead and use this new method here in our search lessons component. So here, whenever we click on the search button, we're going to trigger this method. And from here, we want to access the courses service and we want to call search lessons by passing it the search string. This is going to get us back an observable that we want to assign here to search results. Now that we have our data stored in our member variable, we can go ahead and display it here on the screen using our HTML table. We're going to start by accessing the values emitted by the search results observable. And for that, we're going to be using ng container in order to avoid creating here extra HTML elements. And we're going to use here the ng if syntax. We're going to access search results and we're going to apply it the async pipe. And to this result here, which are the values emitted by the search results observable, we are going to assign a new template name that is going to be the lessons variable. Inside this ng container, we are going to apply our HTML table where we are going to be able to visualize our results. We have here the table header containing a few columns and we have here the HTML for a table row. So let's go ahead and let's uncomment this and let's apply here the angular ng4 syntax in order to loop through our list of lessons. Let's then use here the syntax let lesson of lessons. And with this, we have used here the template for a row to display all our search results. And with this, we have finished the initial part of our master detail setup. Let's go ahead and try out this current version of our search lessons component. So here I already reloaded and we have here the new version of the application. Let's go ahead and type in here some search. Let's search for the word intro and let's go ahead and click search. This is going to trigger a request to the backend and we have here all the matching lessons with the word intro on its title. So as we can see, everything is working as expected. Now, what we want to do now that we have here some search results, we want to be able to click in one of the results and see in detail what the search result corresponds to. So we would like to display here the lesson that we have just clicked with its video, title, long description, etc. Let's see how we're going to implement that. 